The UN calls this the 21st century's biggest human catastrophe in the making. Four million residents of Syria's northwestern Idlib province have been facing death and destruction at the hands of the Assad regime and its allies. While Turkey currently hosts some 3.7 million Syrian refugees, another one and a half million are at its borders. Ankara says Moscow must step in to avert more tragedy. We expect Russia will not allow the Syrian regime's actions which harm Turkish-Russian cooperation. The meetings we had today are a manifestation of our will, which aims to find permanent solutions to this problem in the region. We will firstly ensure the ceasefire and take the necessary steps quickly. At 0001 on March 6, the ceasefire will begin. To make the ceasefire permanent, necessary efforts will be made. We will work together to help people equally, without any preconditions. We will ensure that displaced people can safely and voluntarily go back to their homes. In this process, Turkey will have the right to retaliate with full force if the Syrian regime attacks. But Moscow blames the opposition for those attacks. Since the beginning of this year, we've noticed 15 attacks on Hamim, and every time we informed our Turkish partners about these attacks. Combatants managed to continue their actions, and unfortunately, we lost Turkish soldiers, and I would like to express sincere condolences again. I know that the esteemed president is very sorry, and I would like to express my condolences to the families of the soldiers. We don't always agree with our partners from Turkey, but every time in critical moments, based on the high level of bilateral relationship that we have, we have always managed to find some common area in these fields and find necessary solutions. Erdogan says branding four million people as terrorists and indiscriminately killing civilians is not acceptable. The two sides have agreed to protect civilians and ensure conditions are created for their safe return. Erdogan and Putin have also agreed to carry out joint patrols in Idlib.